Hi guys, just thought I'd do a quick update on the uh, Raspberry Pi TV. As you can see uh, everything's now fitted and uh, the lights are glowing very slightly. I didn't want to have them glowing too much because um, they're a bit in your face when you're, when you're actually watching the, the picture on the TV screen. So the Pi is fitted in the back now permanently. There's a USB hub which gave me an absolute nightmare trying to get it to work. It just would not work. So I swapped it for a different one and bingo. I think power supply is also very critical with the Raspberry Pi. I had a fairly poor quality one that I got off uh, you know where. And I was having problems, swapped it for another one. Swapped it for the one I originally got from uh, RS Electronics. And it worked perfectly fine. Also had problems with... Um, using a USB memory stick to port these uh, videos across but that's now done just uh, just wouldn't recognize the USB stick but in the end I managed to uh, get it to do it as you know from the other video it's running um, a, uh, a multimedia version of Linux and this is just playing uh, one clip after another of 1940s TV so uh, it goes on for about half an hour I think seems to be uh, pretty good uh, quality all round really I'm very very pleased with it um, further bits and bobs to do on it I'm probably going to fit uh, a remote controller so that you don't have to use a mouse or a keyboard getting wireless, uh, wireless mice and keyboards to work has also proved a bit of a problem but um, the multimedia controller that Daniel lent me does work, but I need to redefine some of the keys. So at the moment, it's just got a mouse, so everything runs off a mouse. But there we go, it's looking good, and uh, really pleased with it. And as I said before, I'll fetch it up at the club when, uh, when I get a moment, when it's properly finished. Okay, see you all soon.